an arrow from a bow never returns. Similarly, the words spoken from your mouth will never come back. So your words can be your power again. A fool is known by his speech and wise man, by silent. A fool is known by his words and the mark of an intelligent man is to remain calm. People understood this when, where, and how much to say. Your words may be your weakness. It can save you a lot of trouble if you can just keep quiet at the right time. If not many times, it's just because of some words you say may bring trouble for you. Still, some people use their words just to make themselves look smart. But the real power is hidden in silence. Because intelligent and successful people know very well when, where, and how much to talk. In this video, you will get to know eight qualities of a less speaking people. So, stay tuned until the end of this video. Number one, they take time to thought before speaking. People who speak less often possess quality of taking time to think before speaking. This characteristic reflects a thoughtful approach to communication. Imagine a friend who, when asked a question, pauses before responding instead of rushing to answer. They take a moment to consider their words carefully. This thoughtfulness ensures that when they do speak, their words carry weight and convey precisely what they intend. This quality is like a chef, carefully selecting ingredients for a perfect dish. In conversations, it's about choosing words with care to create a meaningful impact. This thought before speaking approach encourages a more profound connection with others as it reflects a genuine and considered engagement. You should embrace the power of silence. In a world often dominated by constant chatter, taking a moment of quiet reflection before responding allows for more thoughtful and effective communication. It's a reminder that words hold significance and by giving them the respect they deserve, one can foster more meaningful connections. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation Consider adopting this quality by taking a breath, reflecting, and then expressing yourself with purpose. In doing so, you not only contribute to more meaningful dialogues, but also cultivate a sense of thoughtfulness that can positively impact various aspects of your life. Number two, good listeners. Being a good listener is a valuable quality often associated with those who speak less. Imagine a friend who, instead of dominating a conversation, actively listens to what others have to say. This person might nod in understanding, ask thoughtful questions, and show genuine interest in the speaker's words. This is the quality of being a good listener. Imagine where someone is sharing their experiences. A good listener refrains from interrupting and allows the speaker to express themselves fully. They might say, tell me more, encouraging the speaker to share their thoughts without feeling rushed. By being attentive, a good listener creates a space for open and honest communication. Silence can be golden. Often, people don't need solutions or immediate responses. They seek someone who will hear them without judgment. So, the next time you find yourself in a conversation, try focusing on what the other person is saying. Ask questions to show your interest and avoid the urge to speak just for the sake of it. By practicing active listening, you not only strengthen your relationships, but also contribute to a more supportive and understanding social environment. Remember, sometimes the most impactful words are the ones left unspoken. Number three, patience. Patience involves the ability to wait calmly without getting frustrated. Imagine a friend who, instead of interrupting or expressing impatience, allows conversations and situations to unfold naturally. 
This person demonstrates the virtue of patience. Consider a group discussion where various opinions are being shared. A patient individual takes the time to hear everyone's viewpoint before offering their own. They don't rush to speak or dominate the conversation, but wait for the right moment to contribute. The quality of patience is to embrace the beauty of timing. Understand that not every moment requires an immediate response or intervention. Sometimes, allowing things to progress at their own pace leads to more thoughtful and considered outcomes. Number four, observant. Being observant is a quality often associated with those who speak less. It means paying close attention to the world around you. Imagine a friend who, instead of talking a lot, notices the details in their environment, such as the expressions on people's faces or changes in the atmosphere. This person exemplifies the observant quality. In a social gathering, an observant individual might notice when someone seems uncomfortable or when a friend needs support without them saying a word. Their keen awareness goes beyond words, allowing them to understand situations intuitively. Being an observant is to open your eyes and ears to the world. Take time to notice the subtleties in your surroundings, the body language of others, and the unspoken feelings in a room. By doing so, you gain a deeper understanding of people and situations. In conversations, this can lead to more meaningful interactions as you pick up on cues that go beyond spoken words. So, the next time you find yourself in a social setting, try being more observant and you might discover a wealth of information that goes beyond what is explicitly said. Number five. Independent thinkers. Independent thinkers are those who speak less, are individuals who form their own opinions and make decisions based on personal judgment rather than simply following the crowd. Imagine a friend who, instead of always agreeing with others, takes the time to consider different perspectives and forms their own unique viewpoint. This person embodies the quality of independent thinking. In a group discussion, an independent thinker might offer a perspective that challenges the common consensus, bringing in fresh and original ideas. They value their own judgment and aren't afraid to stand apart from the majority. Being an independent thinker is to trust your own thoughts and beliefs. While it's essential to listen to others, don't be afraid to form your own opinions and make decisions that align with your values. In conversations, this means expressing your unique viewpoint without always seeking approval. By doing so, you contribute diverse ideas and foster a culture of individuality. So, the next time you find yourself in a discussion, embrace your independent thinking and don't be hesitant to share your distinctive perspective. Number six, reflective nature. Having a reflective nature is often found in those who speak less, it means taking time to think about oneself and one's experiences. Imagine a friend who, instead of constantly being caught up in the business of life, sets aside moments to ponder and understand their thoughts and feelings. This person, embodies the quality of being reflective. Having a reflective nature is to embrace moments of quiet contemplation. Take time to think about your experiences, both positive and challenging, and consider what they mean to you. In conversations, this quality encourages a thoughtful response rather than a reactive one. By being reflective, you can better understand your own motivations and contribute more meaningfully to discussions. So, the next time you encounter a situation or engage in a conversation, pause, reflect, and let your insights guide your words and actions. Number seven, careful with words. Being careful with words is associated with those who speak less, means choosing what you say thoughtfully and with consideration. Imagine a friend who, 
instead of speaking impulsively, takes a moment to weigh their words, ensuring that they convey exactly what they intend. This person exemplifies the quality of being careful with words. In a discussion, someone careful with their words might express disagreement without being confrontational, using language that promotes understanding rather than causing offense. This careful approach to communication fosters positive and respectful interactions. Being careful with words is to recognize the impact language can have. Before speaking, consider how your words might be received and whether they align with your intentions. In conversations, aim for clarity and kindness, avoiding unnecessary negativity. By doing so, you contribute to a more harmonious environment and build stronger connections with others. So, the next time you're about to speak, take a moment to choose your words wisely understanding that the way you express yourself can shape the tone of the conversation. Number eight, strong inner strength. Having strong inner strength is found in those who speak less, means possessing a resilience and confidence within oneself that doesn't necessarily require constant verbal expression. Imagine a friend who instead of boasting or seeking validation through words, carries themselves with a quiet confidence and a sense of resilience. And a sense of resilience in the face of challenges. This person exemplifies the quality of having strong inner strength. From having strong inner strength is to trust yourself and your abilities. Recognize that true strength often lies in actions and character rather than in vocal assertions. In conversations, this quality encourages a calm and assured demeanor, allowing your presence to convey your capabilities. By embracing your inner strength, you not only navigate life's ups and downs more gracefully, but also inspire those around you with your quiet resilience. So. The next time you encounter a difficult situation, rely on your inner strength and let your actions speak volumes. We've explored eight qualities that man should have to be a less speaker. Now it's time to take responsibility and action. Take a moment to reflect and commit. Write down your promise in the comments section. Declare to yourself, I am a warrior in my own life. I will try to gain these eight qualities and reflect them in my daily life. I'll read as many of your commitments as I can, and I'll feature the most inspiring comment on our channel, along with your name. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more daily doses of unfiltered and uncensored words of wisdom.